Well, Hillary Clinton is still ahead in most national polls, topping Donald Trump by an average of five and a half points, according to Real Clear Politics. But our next guest says the race is much closer than that. Cliff Young is the president of Ipsos Public Affairs, which does polling for Reuters, and he joins us right now live. Good morning to you. Good morning. Great what do you mean here. the numbers are softer for her than they appear? Well, well, definitely over the last few weeks, it's been it's been kind of ugly for Donald Trump. Uh, he's down between five and eight points. That's really indicative of his relative performance. Um, but you can't just look at the horse race polls. We tend to do that. Yeah. Uh, the uh, media does that. Uh, general citizens do that. But pollsters like my Myself, we like to peel away the onion and really understand the drivers of, of voters. Um, and we look at what we call matchups, key matchups. Okay. Uh, we typically ask a, a series of issues and personal qualities, and then we ask how the, the candidates match up on those issues. If you look at the top three issues, economy and, job, and jobs, right. terrorism, and fixing a broken system, Hillary leads on the first by five points, and the next two, fixing a broken system, and uh, uh, it's a dead heat on the terrorism dead heat. and fixing exactly. the broken system. So then when it comes to economy and jobs, uh, that's pretty much within the margin of error. Yeah, but but it's close. In other words, we're not saying that necessarily it will narrow because it really depends on Donald Trump being efficient, being on message, not coming up with random sort of thoughts like he does sometimes. He has to be really, really focused. Right. Uh, but the, but the, the support for Hillary is softer than the horse race polls suggest. You know, uh, I have been reading online. There's a lot of uh, different uh, theories online about why some of the polls are so different. Some say that uh, certain polls favor more Democrats. They have more Democrats than Republicans. When you put together a poll, you probably try to figure out what America looks like demographically according to the parties, right? Yeah, uh, yeah of course. And so what we want to be is representative of the general population. And right now, does it lean more to the left or the right? It leans, the general population leans more to the left, but those who vote, it typically is split down the middle. Okay. Those who show up on election day. All right. You also said that most elections, when it comes to the presidential race, are pretty cut and dried. But this one is a disruptor. What are you talking about? Yeah, okay, so we have a database at Ipsos of, of 600 elections around the world. I call it the salad bowl approach, right? <laughs> and uh, about 85% of all elections are slam dunks. We know what's going to happen. More of the same, throw the bums out. 15% of the elections are disruptor elections. Pass is not prologue. It's difficult to predict. And typically the population is, is fearful angry. They believe the system is rigged against people like them. They don't trust politicians. And this is that sort of election. And indeed, that's why Donald Trump won in the primaries. That's why Bernie Sanders did so well. It typically favors an anti-establishment candidate, um, but we'll see, right? Okay, a disruptor election. So in other words, right now, you can't tell who's going to win. Yeah, yeah, it's difficult to say. We'll know a couple weeks out, but right okay. now it's difficult. All right, Cliff, thank you very much for joining yeah, thank us. Thank you. All right.